This is AP News Minute. President Joe Biden wraps up a four-day trip to Europe Saturday in Poland, affirming his support to the country and to Ukraine and warning Russian President Putin, don't even think about moving on to one single inch of NATO territory. He also met Ukrainian refugees. Biden announced a billion in additional aid this week and said the U.S. would accept up to 100,000 refugees. Meanwhile, in neighboring Ukraine, black smoke could be seen billowing behind buildings in the western part of the country where explosions were reported. Pope Francis called the war shameful during an audience with volunteers at the Vatican. He also thanked them for their work helping refugees arriving in Italy, calling it a concrete, practical way of building peace. Afghan women's rights activists staged a protest in Kabul against the decision by the Taliban government to close secondary schools for girls. Protesters, including students, took to the streets demanding their right to education be respected. Julie Walker, Associated Press, with the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. President Joe Biden wraps up a four-day trip to Europe Saturday in Poland, affirming his support to the country and to Ukraine and warning Russian President Putin, don't even think about moving on to one single inch of NATO territory. He also met Ukrainian refugees. Biden announced a billion in additional aid this week and said the U.S. would accept up to 100,000 refugees. Meanwhile, in neighboring Ukraine, black smoke could be seen billowing behind buildings in the western part of the country where explosions were reported. Pope Francis called the war shameful during an audience with volunteers at the Vatican. He also thanked them for their work helping refugees arriving in Italy, calling it a concrete, practical way of building peace. Afghan women's rights activists staged a protest in Kabul against the decision by the Taliban government to close secondary schools for girls. Protesters, including students, took to the streets demanding their right to education be respected. Julie Walker, Associated Press, with the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky is accusing the West of cowardice. His country continues to fight off Russia's invasion. Speaking Sunday, a day after President Joe Biden met with Ukrainian officials in Poland, Zelensky lashed out at the West's game of ping pong as Russian missiles continue to kill and trap civilians. He asked for more fighter jets and tanks to continue the fight. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the White House does not have a strategy of regime change in Russia. He made the remarks in Jerusalem Sunday. The senior official was quick to stress President Joe Biden was not calling for an immediate change of government in Moscow when he said in his speech, for God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. The second black box from the China Eastern Boeing 737 was found Sunday, according to Chinese state media. The finding raises hopes investigators could soon find out why the passenger plane nosedived into a remote mountainous area in southern China last week. None of the 132 passengers on board survived. And officials say a portion of a downtown Boston parking garage that was being demolished collapsed Saturday, killing a construction worker. A second person was taken to the hospital. Julie Walker, Associated Press with AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky is accusing the West of cowardice. His country continues to fight off Russia's invasion. Speaking Sunday, a day after President Joe Biden met with Ukrainian officials in Poland, Zelensky lashed out at the West's game of ping pong as Russian missiles continue to kill and trap civilians. He asked for more fighter jets and tanks to continue the fight. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the White House does does not have a strategy of regime change in Russia. He made the remarks in Jerusalem Sunday. The senior official was quick to stress President Joe Biden was not calling for an immediate change of government in Moscow when he said in his speech, for God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. 
The second black box from the China Eastern Boeing 737 was found Sunday, according to Chinese state media. The finding raises hopes investigators could soon find out why the passenger plane nosedived into a remote mountainous area in southern China last week. None of the 132 passengers on board survived. And officials say a portion of a downtown Boston parking garage that was being demolished collapsed Saturday, killing a construction worker. A second person was taken to the hospital. Julie Walker, Associated Press with AP News Minute.